Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you some methods of setting up your writing environment in a Scrivener project. I've already started a simple project with some documents containing text. If the editor has focus, this can be done by clicking within the editor pane. Pressing Command R on the keyboard will bring up the ruler. The ruler allows you to format the text just as you would using Words Ruler, for example. Going to Text Ruler Show Ruler Tools reveals some other useful features in the ruler for creating lists and aligning text. As you can see, I can use these tools to readily alter the text. All other text formatting tools are within the text menu. These include font characteristics and the highlight tools. As with most programs, bold, italic and underline can be added using Command B, Command I and Command U. If it is getting late in the day and you want to see any changes more readily, you can simply use text scaling in the footer view to make the text within the editor bigger without actually changing the designated font size. Scrivener preferences will allow you to define what formatting you want new documents to use by default. If I go to text editing, you can see the font and paragraph attributes I have used when creating my existing documents. If I now play around with these settings, change the font to Bank Gothic and click OK, you'll notice that my existing documents are unaffected. I may have spent time formatting these documents to specific fonts and would naturally not want these changed or ruined. If I create a new document, you can readily see that my chosen attributes are now in effect. If we want to add text into Scrivener that already has formatting in it, such as the text from this web page, and we want it to use Scrivener's formatting, we can use Paste and Match Style from the Edit menu. If we decide that we want to use our new formatting for existing documents, we can use Documents, Convert, Formatting to Default Text Style. Let's go back to Scrivener Preferences and briefly look at Fonts and Colours. From here I can change most of the colour scheme of Scrivener. For instance, if I decide to alter the text background colour, as I hit Apply, these changes will take effect. By the way, once you have your preferences as you want them, you can use the Manage button at the bottom of the Preferences pane to save them so you can reload them later. The Defaults button will take you back to the standard settings for Scrivener. Now, let's look at full screen. I hope you can see that the default settings present the paper against a dark background that is easy on the eyes. The paper is a little darker, pinkish, so as not to be too glaring. The Scrivener menu is available at the top of the screen and the control panel appears at the bottom if we move the cursor down there. These controls allow us to position the paper, make the paper area wider or narrower, and zoom the text. There is word count available and we can also vary the fading of the background from transparent to opaque. Let's take a look at the full screen preferences. We can completely customize how full screen looks by changing these options. Let's try and achieve a retro look. Paper color is going to black. Alternate scrivenings is going to dark gray. This is the alternating background color used for edit scrivenings, which is the combined documents mode. Check override text color. This allows us to override the text color in full screen, no matter what color it is. And we're going bright green. Selection color is going to dark green. And we're going to use a block insertion point Disable insertion point blinking and change the scroller to auto hiding.
Okay, that brings us to the end of the setting up your writing environment tutorial. I hope it has given you enough confidence to play with the settings of Scrivener in order to achieve the interface look you want. Goodbye for now.